If you're anything like us, then you love to get a good night's sleep. There's no better feeling than a totally restful snooze. While the magic number is eight hours sleep for humans, things seem to be very different indeed over in the animal kingdom. Yep, we might brush our teeth, put on some PJs and crawl into our cozy bed for the night, but in the wild, anything goes. And certain creatures have evolved to have some pretty insane bedtime rituals. From dolphins that sleep with one eye open to a snail that snoozed for five years. These are 15 animals with unusual sleeping habits. <laughs> Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to Missing Files, and click the notification bell for the best daily videos. <coughs> KO'd Owl This owl might look like it was passed out, but it's just catching a few Zs. Sound asleep in a Japanese wildlife park back in 2017, this owl found itself at the center of the internet fascination when this funny photo went viral. Yup, turns out that the world was completely oblivious to the fact that baby owls actually sleep face down with their legs stretched out straight. Sure, it looks like this baby bird fell out of a tree and flat on his face, but there's actually a very good reason they snooze in this strange way. Known as the prone position, Owls spread their legs extremely straight in order to lock them into place and rest on their bellies as their head is just too heavy for their small bodies to support while perched upright. In the wild, their back toe, also known as the hallux, firmly grips into the branch while they are asleep so they don't slip out of the tree during their slumber. Baby owls have high levels of REM activity while they sleep and as they grow older, they dream less and less. When these infant owls do nod off, their naps are only short and they really hate to be woken up, even to be fed. Have you ever seen an angry owl? We wouldn't want to get on the bad side of this bird of prey. The longest nap ever. Okay, we'll admit it, we love to nap, but we've never overslept for quite this long. Yup, in what could be the longest snooze of all time, one snail was found hibernating for five whole years. They must have been really exhausted. Hey, carrying your house around on your back all day is no joke. Desert snails have a particularly useful sense, and they become aware when the air is too dry for them to retain moisture. These slimy fellas burrow underground where it's cooler and damper, and they can hibernate there for at least three years until the temperature up on the surface is just right. When you consider that the average life expectancy of a desert snail is 15 years, three years of sleep kinda just seems like a waste of time. In the most extreme case ever recorded, a small Egyptian snail was added to the British Museum's natural history collection in 1846 by naturalist Charles Lamb. The specimen, affectionately nicknamed 46.3.25, was glued to a board in a display cabinet alongside hundreds of other shelled creatures. Five years later, a trail of slime was discovered in the display. Turns out that the 46325 had been napping the whole time, and the last time it was awake was probably back in Egypt. The lazy snail was fed some cabbage, but clearly decided waking life was not for him, as it fell back asleep for another two years. Now that's what we call living the dream. <laughs> Unihemispheric dolphins. Everyone loves dolphins, right? These cute creatures are like the puppies of the ocean, and people travel from all over the globe to pet and swim with these lovable, intelligent mammals. They even look like they're smiling. But while they certainly make life look carefree, trying to get some sleep when you're a dolphin is actually quite complicated. You see, dolphins have a voluntary respiration system, which means that when they're asleep, they don't just automatically breathe like us humans. Nope. Dolphins actually need to keep one side of their brain awake in order to control their blowhole, the flap of skin that allows them to breathe. This style of slumber is called unihemispheric slow wave sleep, meaning one side of their brain stays awake and the opposite eye stays open to stay aware of their surroundings. In order to get proper rest, they even switch sides of the brain every couple of hours. Amazing, right? They can snooze while floating vertically or horizontally, or for a deeper sleep, they can float at the surface of the water where it's easier for them to breathe. This unusual habit is known as logging. Baby dolphins have a pretty cute way of catching 40 winks, 
and that is to sleep while in their mother's slipstream, which is the wake left behind while the mommy dolphin swims in front. Just think of it like a reverse stroller. This means the infant dolphin can use less energy while asleep for a better quality rest. However, this is more hard work for mom. She can't stop swimming at all for the first few weeks of her baby dolphin's life. The baby doesn't have yet enough body fat to float and will sink and drown without the safety of being carried in the slipstream. And we thought human babies were hard work. <laughs> Standing horses. Have you ever stopped to think about how horses take a nap? It turns out that their sleeping habits are actually pretty unusual. These equine creatures like to snooze throughout the day, and they do so while standing completely upright. That doesn't sound too comfortable. However, they do this because they're prey animals, and sleeping on the ground only makes it more difficult to defend yourself and make a quick escape. Their straight back only makes matters more difficult. Luckily, they've evolved with perfectly adapted legs that make it possible for them to lock their knees. This special trick is called the stay apparatus. Of course, standing up all day and night takes a toll and horses will occasionally rest on the ground during daylight hours when they are safest from predators. Another tactic they use to protect each other is by using a buddy system for sleeping. They'll take turns keeping watch with one horse looking out for the other at bedtime. Who knew sleeping was such a hard task? No wonder they get grumpy. <laughs> Giraffes. How does the tallest animal in the world sleep, we hear you ask? Do they have a super long bed that stretches out in the savanna? Well, not quite. The answer is actually pretty unusual. They don't sleep very much at all. In fact, adult giraffes can survive on just 30 minutes a night, making them the least sleep-dependent animals on land. Imagine how much you could get done if you were more like the super productive giraffe. Sleep apparently is for suckers. They get their half hour of rest and five minute power naps, and even then they're only half sleep with their eyes slightly open and their ears still twitching for any danger in their surroundings. They also remain standing fully upright, just in case any lion comes along and tries his luck. While predators tend to avoid the awkwardly giant giraffe when they are awake due to their sheer size and impressive speed of 35 miles an hour, falling asleep puts the giraffe at great risk, and the babies have an even stranger method of sleeping. The youngsters will lay down on the ground with their legs tucked under their bodies and rest their long neck heads on their butts. Weird, but cute. <laughs> swift sleepers. These little guys are swift by name and swift by nature. These beautiful birds migrate every July, leaving Europe for warmer weather in Western and Central Africa. They return north the following June and spend a whopping 10 months almost exclusively in the air. Sounds exhausting, right? But the swift doesn't really have too much choice when it comes to this matter. In fact, it's actually incredibly difficult for them to take off from a flat surface such as the ground, as their wings are so long and their legs are so short. This means that they rarely come to land. Another reason that they might spend so much time in the air is that they can come across more food in the sky than they will on the ground, catching flies and bugs on the road. They're also safer from predators who patrol the ground not to mention earthbound parasites. Yikes, sounds like the sky is the best place to be. When Ackerson and Anders Hendenstrom from Lund University tagged 19 Swifts with data loggers in 2013, they found that between September 2013 and April 2014, one of the birds had rested for just four nights in the seven-month period, and during the next year's migrations, it rested for just two hours. While scientists don't have a brain sensor that's small enough to monitor the mental activity of these tiny swifts, they can only assume that swifts are taking power naps mid-flight to keep them going. It's a shame there are no coffee shops in the sky. <coughs> Sperm whales When photographer Franco Banfi was freediving in the Caribbean Sea just off the coast of Dominica, he couldn't believe his eyes when he saw the very eerie sight of six sperm whales drifting vertically, heads toward the surface, 65 feet under the water. The photos that he snapped shook the wildlife community and gave us all a glimpse at the bedtime rituals of the gigantic sperm whale. These magnificent creatures snooze in an upright position for about 10 to 15 minutes at a time, and they look like some kind of aquatic stone circle when they do so. 
Sleeping in unison, usually in pods of about five or six whales, these silent and gentle creatures do not breathe or move while in a state of slumber. Very creepy indeed. It's also very rare to catch them in mid-snooze, as they only spend 7% of their whole day asleep, which is the shortest amount of sleep out of any other mammal. Who needs sleep when you've got a whole ocean to explore, right? <laughs> Sleeping dogs don't lie. If you're a dog owner, you've surely seen your dog running, panting, and barking during a dream. It's adorable to see them lying on their bed while they chase a cat or run through their favorite park in their sleep. Yep, no one knows why dogs do this, but experts reckon it's probably similar to how we sleepwalk as humans. Our pet pooch might twitch and jerk around while dreaming purely because they have an overactive imagination. But in some cases, it could be a sign to take a trip to the vet. Experts have said that a dog who runs in circles, chases its tail, bumps into a wall, or it makes strange sounds randomly all while sleep may need veterinary attention just to make sure everything is okay. Hopefully, it's just a particularly scary dream and nothing more serious. <laughs> Ducks in a row when it comes to falling asleep, ducks have got a pretty good system in place to keep themselves and their feathered friends safe. Animal behavior experts Stephen Lima and Charles Almoner decided to study these aquatic birds to see exactly how they had evolved to snooze in groups. And what they found was actually pretty fascinating. Ducks sleep in a row, each in different levels of slumber depending on their position in the line. For example, the ducks in the middle would sleep with both eyes shut, while those on the ends kept one eye open to stay alert for predators. Yep, just like dolphins, ducks have unihemispheric sleep, meaning the two sides of the brain can sleep independently of each other, and one eye can stay open. To keep things fair, the ducks shuffle up to position during the night so that birds who have been maintaining watch eventually push themselves into the middle of the row so that they can sleep more soundly. And we complain that we can't get a decent night's sleep. I feel bad for these ducks. Bats. Is there any animal with a more iconic sleeping position than the bat? It's as if they say how every other creature in the world slept and thought, that's too boring. We want to be different. Yep, as you probably already know, bats sleep hanging upside down. But do you know the reason why? Well, there are a couple of explanations for this strange sleeping habit, but the most important one is probably that they can't take off like birds do. You see, bats are mammals, and they can't launch into the air due to their small legs and underperforming wings. However, if they hang from a high spot, they can simply drop down and fall into flight. Talk about a leap of faith. Secondly, there's very little competition for roosting spots in the dark caves and crevices where they hang from great heights. Just like high-rise condo buildings, the bat can save a lot of space by hanging out in the sky. Plus, they can save energy by simply hanging. Their muscles are developed so that they can grip by their claws without any strain, only exerting energy when they actually release their talons. This chill posture is so easy and stress-free for the bat that when it dies, it would still remain hanging in the same position unless another bat came along and stole its spot. Kinda adds a new meaning to the phrase, hanging out, right? <laughs> Cute meerkats. Meerkats might be one of the cutest critters in the animal kingdom, but did you know that they're also some of the sleepiest? Seems like most meerkats can barely even keep their eyes open, which isn't necessarily a good thing for an animal that spends most of its time on the lookout for predators. You really don't want to be sleeping on the job if you're a meerkat. This adorable animal lives in groups known as mobs or gangs, which can consist of up to 40 meerkats. The mob sleeps in a burrow with a series of tunnels and chambers with multiple entrances, which also serve as escape routes if a predator should come their way. In these cozy burrows, they can sleep for up to 12 hours a day, huddling in piles on top of each other for warmth or cold nights and spreading out through the tunnels in hot water. Yep, these meerkats have no problem catching 40 winks. BFF Otters Okay, so meerkats are super cute, but is it even possible to find an animal more adorable than the otter? We don't think so. Just look at these sweet marine mammals. Affectionate? Check. Fluffy? Check. Their fur is one of the densest in the animal kingdom, with up to a million hairs per square inch. 
Over the years, images of otters floating on their backs down a river, holding hands with their loved ones, have flooded the internet, earning them a place in the Animal Meme Hall of Fame. This group bonding activity is called a raft and allows families to sleep and eat without fear of losing each other. They will even sleep in patches of long kelp that grows up from the seafloor and towards the surface of the water where they can hang on to the seaweed in order to stop them from drifting away. Who needs a pillow and a blanket anyway? <laughs> bears say goodbye for the season. In late November every year, bears begin to get ready for a big long sleep, approximately five months worth. We are of course talking about winter hibernation, which lasts most of the season with male bears waking up in late March and female bears with cubs rising a little later in April to early May. Hands up if you wish you could stay in bed for that long. <laughs> we know we do. During hibernation, grizzly and black bears won't eat, drink, poop, or pee, and they survive off a thick layer of fat that they build during the summer and fall months. In fact, during the fall, bears will enter a feeding frenzy, consuming around 20,000 calories a day. That's a lot of venison burgers. In their hibernation state, they breathe less than twice per minute, and a bear's heart will beat at a third slower state than normal. This slowing down and complete halt of bodily function has even inspired scientists who are working on long missions to space to research the possibilities of humans entering a state of hibernation as well. If it's good enough for bears, perhaps it's good enough for the astronauts too. <laughs> flamingos in balance. Nobody really knows why flamingos choose to sleep on one leg, but experts certainly have a few theories. And no, it's not because they really love practicing their yoga skills. One big idea is that this pink bird's legs are so long and tall that it takes most of the flamingo's energy to pump blood through both legs. Resting one leg during a nap could possibly allow its heart to pump blood more easily through the rest of the body. Seriously, can you imagine trying to sleep balancing on one leg? We can barely do it when we're awake. The secret to the flamingo's success is that it has sort of an ankle joint that locks into place, round about where a human's knee would be. With this locking mechanism in place, the flamingo isn't going anywhere, so they're in no danger of falling over. <laughs> they make it look so easy. Walrus Options When it comes to sleeping quarters, the enormous walrus actually has plenty of choices. Yep, while some walruses hook their tusks over stable ice flows to keep from drifting off, others choose to pull off the pharyngeal pouches that are located on either side of the esophagus, filling the pockets with 50 liters of air that allow them to bob up and down. Just think of it like an airbed. While they can sleep on land, the freezing arctic water is of no bother to the walrus, who weighs 3,750 pounds. That's a lot of insulation. In fact, walruses adapt so well that they can enter a very deep sleep, snoozing for a shocking 19 hours at a time. Whoa! We don't know about you, but all this talk of sleep has made us want a nap. It's a hard life out there in the animal kingdom. Can you imagine having to sleep standing up, or even while flying or swimming? Forget relaxing with a nice lavender-scented candle. These critters are lucky to even grab a couple of hours without having to worry about predators attacking or getting lost at sea. So which one of these sleepy creatures did you think had the most unusual napping habit? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to The Missing Files so you never miss another video.